three, two, one. Woo! I don't know how to use this. Y'all ready to start this game, H Quizzes? Nothing to it but to HQ it. Here we go with question number one. What landmark separated the seven kingdoms from the land of the wildlings? Big Thunder Mountain, The Wall, or French Riviera? I'm let y'all think about this while I fix my belt, holding me up and protecting me from the undead. All right, they say it's over 700 feet tall and made of solid ice, plus some strong magic. It separated the seven kingdoms for thousands of years. Well, formerly separated, because, yeah. Not that wall. Oh! oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. This is one big turkey legs and metal plates. 378,420 got that right. Yes, and you're moving on to question number two. Here we go. The Starks are known for keeping what kind of animals? Archhounds, Marmadukes, or Direwolves? Archhounds, Marmadukes, or Direwolves, y'all. Who is rocking with the stalks? Okay, I have two of these, kinda. I'm like a long lost stalk. You know what I'm saying? One Direwolf for each stalk. They're cute, but they can be bad news for enemies. Just ask Joffrey. 356,927 of y'all got Direwolves. Ahoo! Time for question number three. What's it gonna be? Thanks to their hair, which of these characters would the wildlings say is kissed by fire? Sansa Stark, the Hound, or Daenerys Targaryen? Mm. I should, I wanna host every episode in a cape. This is fly. And don't worry, Peter nerds, this is faux fur, okay? All right. Daenerys has walked through fire just fine, but she isn't kissed by fire. That's the free folk expression for red-haired people, like Sansa Stark. Yeah, 262,729 are feeling fine. It's time for question number four. Give me some more. Here we go. Q4, babies. Jon Snow is secretly which of these to Daenerys Targaryen? Cousin, brother, or nephew? Talking about family relations, y'all. What's it gonna be? All right. Who wants to tell him? Hmm? Not me. John is secretly the son of her deceased brother Rhaegar, making him her nephew. Ooh. That's nasty. 161,297 got that one right. You're moving on to question number five. Here we go. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. Question five. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, question five. Here we go. What song is playing during this scene? Take a look. My king has married and I owe my new queen a wedding gift. No! Oh, snap. Is it the Dornishman's wife, the reigns of Castamere, or hands of gold? Oh, that scene haunted me for weeks out. I just recently started rewatching every episode with the subtitles on so I knew who people was and, and all that jazz. What better way for the Lannisters to send their regards at the Red Wedding than by playing the Reigns of Castamere, a song about how the Lannisters always pay their debts. 171,258 are filling it on the way to question number six. Bacaw! That was my three-eyed raven impression, but it sounded more like a chicken. I'm still scared about them needles. Catherine, you okay? I'm good. Cool. <laughs> what devious act did Cersei commit prior to this famous wine celebration? <laughs> Sip it, girl. Go ahead, Cersei. Yeah, she's getting her buzz on. Was it Marjorie's arrest, the Red Wedding, or blowing up the Sept? Sip some wine. Yeah. I could probably sip some wine too out of this horn because it, it, it doubles as a, a goblet for mead. 
Yeah, I'll do that after the show. You too might want to relax with some wine if you just killed like four or five major characters. You know what I'm saying? She blew up the sept of Baylor. That's some big wine mom energy, y'all. 159,973. Remember that explosion with the green fire. Yeah, if you remember what the name of the green fire was, tell us in the chat. Okay? Question number seven. Let's get it. Where does Olena secretly remove a poison vial off Sansa during this scene? I haven't had the opportunity to tell you how sorry I was to hear about your brother. Oh. Was it her dress, the bracelet, or necklace? She took a little poison vial off of Sansa, but where'd it come from? Yeah, that's the question I'm asking y'all. All right? Racking your brains, figuring it out. In the book, Olena speak, uh, she sneaks Joffrey's poison into the wedding through a jeweled hairnet. But in the show, it's in a necklace. That's some pretty decent sleight of hand from the Queen of Thorns. 151,189, got that one right. It's time for question number eight. Know you're feeling great. Hold the door. Give me some more. <laughs> what does Tyrion scold the Viper for doing before the trial by combat? Drinking wine, showing up late, or visiting Littlefinger? What's it gonna be? I need to wear stuff like this all the time. I feel so, I feel so free and ready for combat. Trial by combat, y'all. It's weird to see Tyrion advise against drinking, but that's exactly what he does. Oberyn should have maybe taken that advice. You shouldn't drink before a fight. You learned this during your years in the fighting pits. <laughs> I always drink before a fight. He should have listened. He should have been listening, y'all. Ah, refreshing. 119,881 got drinking wine. Huh, crazy. Mm. Okay, question number nine. No, you're feeling fine. Who is Littlefinger speaking to in his famous chaos is a ladder speech? Tyrion Lannister, Ned Stark, or Varys? Hmm. Who is it going to be? All right, after sending Ross away to Joffrey, Varys worries that they're all just creating chaos. But to Littlefinger, that's probably just a good thing, because uh, he loves that ladder. Chaos. A gaping pit waiting to swallow us all. Varys, y'all. Isn't a pit. Well, Varys was the answer I was looking chaos for. Chaos is a ladder. It was Varys. <laughs> 85,149 just got that one right. Moving on to question number 10. Let's get it in. $10,000 is so close right now. I can smell it. Q10. Which of Daenerys' dragons appears to have turned into a white? Rhaegal, Drogon, or Viserion? All three of her baby dragons. One of them, ooh. Oh, sad spoiler alert, but if you haven't seen it already, how are you even playing this game right now? Okay. Daenerys always rides Drogon. That's the one that's named after her dead husband of the Dothrakis. So, you can be sure he's safe. Rhaegal is also fine, but Viserion is now ridden by the Night King. Spooky scary. Remember when he chucked that deck? It was like a spear. He just straight up threw that and it hit the dragon. I was like, oh, no, no, no. So mad. It's pissed off. I might get it. Hey, lions. I want a tattoo of the dragon before he got, we could do that probably, right? There's a tiny one that don't hurt too bad. No problem. Cool. Question 11. All dragons go to heaven, unless when they die, they come back as a white one. Uh, <laughs> how does the hound answer when Oliver asks him if he was gonna die over some chickens? Someone is, not yet, or you are. What was his response, huh? What did the hound say back to Oliver? We gonna see. All right. Arya crossing Polliver's name off her list is great, but don't sleep on the hound going all, going all crazy on a gigantic roast turkey You're gonna die or for chicken leg. I don't remember what it was. Someone is. Someone is. Somebody about to die. You know, don't piss off the hound and don't come between the hound and some turkey or chicken. 400, uh, 48,377. Just got that one right. It's time for question 12. What's that smell? Smells like we got a lot more questions. Uh, cause it's not over yet. Yeah. Which of these is not the name of one of the new gods in the Faith of the Seven? Death, Father, or Smith? The Faith of the Seven. Woo. All right, 
Check it. There's a god that represents death, aka the stranger, but is called uh the stranger. Shame! Shame! Shame if you got this wrong. Death babies, that was the answer. 41,257 got that right. You're moving on to question number 13, jelly beans. Here we go. Let's get it. Woo! At the show's start, which of these families is considered one of the great houses? Frey, Tyrell, or Bolton? The great houses, y'all. Think it's like seven of them. Yeah, the seven great houses are the lords of the seven kingdoms. All right, the Freys had to take the Riverlands from the Tullys. I remember that, especially since I revisited everything and watched with the subtitles. And the Boltons took the north from the Starks, but the Tyrells, the Tyrells, sorry, I got a cousin named Tyrell. He's from Brooklyn. <laughs> the Tyrells were great from the start. 35,999. I'm moving on to question number 14. Also, don't forget, HQ Words is coming up tonight at 9.30 p.m. I'm having fun. We need to do more Game of Thrones trivia. This is dope. Woo! Yes. Question 14. Here we go. Which of these people was only married once on Game of Thrones? Rhaegar Targaryen, Robert Baratheon, or Tyrion Lannister? So many weddings! Literally, so many weddings. Okay, ah, uh, Tyrion was married to Sansa, but he was first married to Tysha. Remember her? Yeah, and uh, Rhaegar married Lyanna Stark in secret, in addition to uh, uh, Elia Martell. Yes, and Robert loved Ly Ly Lyanna, uh, not Cersei, but she was his only marriage. So Robert Baratheon is the answer there. Whoo! It's a lot of people with names to memorize when you're doing all this Game of Thrones stuff, but I'm uh, 19,198 of y'all got that one right, so you guys are doing good, better than me. I'm proud of you. It's time for the last question of the game. Question 15, what does that mean? It's the last question. Learn my lesson, woo -hoo! I just pulled that song out of my cape. Here we go, Q15, y'all. As of the season seven finale, who does not currently own a Valyrian steel sword? Jamie Lannister, Samuel Tarly, or Euron Greyjoy? Who's it gonna be? Fixing my belt for this one. All right, let's check in on that Valyrian steel. Long claws with Jon Snow. Arya has little fingers dagger. Samuel stole Heart's Bane from his daddy. Jamie Lannister gave away the Oath Keeper to, uh, to Brienne of Toth, but he inherited Joffrey's sword, Widow's Whale, which leaves Euron Greyjoy for the win. Oh snap, we got 16,437 winners. Pim, 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 pim. Everyone. Winner, winner, big turkey leg dinner. We did it, y'all. Yes, we did. And everybody is 61 cents richer. We got 16,437 winners. Let's see, Darth Kaz, congratulations. Outside the, it was the sonogram, I guess? Oh, I spilled my water all over my crotch. <laughs> Soggy. South of the wall for me. Uh, Digby, <laughs> Digby Lights, congratulations. Tamaron, 31, you did it, you, I'm proud of you. Uh, man, I'm soaked. Dangerous, <laughs> Styles, every, look at this, I got water on me. Water all on my tunic. Okay, congratulations to all of our winners. You did it. You made it to the HQ leaderboard, okay? And don't forget, words is just seconds away. Don't even lock your phone. Big thanks to Catherine here and Fernando for coming in tonight. Come back tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern for movie trivia and some more sh money, okay? I've been your host, Matt Richards. Follow me on the socials at Matt Was Funny. Have a good night. The night is dark and full of terrors. Yeah.